All right then. First let's do a bit of listening. Unless you've been living under a rock, you would have heard this theme from inception. Now listen to this piece by Philip Glass from his album Glassworks. So, do you see similarities between the two in their construction? One opinion against Hans Zimmer among composers is that his music can sound interchangeable from film to film, and there is no distinct flavor for each film in his filmography. This, however, can be attributed to the Zimmerness in his music. Not to forget, this recognizable style has made him who he is, arguably the leading film composer of the 21st century. Other downsides are that he mostly ignores the groundwork, that is, the harmonic material, favoring melody over harmony. His musical vocabulary is quite conventional and shows little to no interest in harmony outside the tonal common practice. Though he has a great ear for melodies, prominent counter melodies are rare. Plus, his orchestral writing isn't ambitious enough. and seems to be constructed on a midi keyboard since the middle range of the orchestra in his works is just a breeding ground for static and sustained chords all right then there's a counter to all these accusations let's zero in you need to figure out how to find the simplest thing to set the thing in motion in many interviews zimmer has noted that whenever he sits down to write something for a film he strives for simplicity in his work an idea that resonates with the half a century ago ideals of minimalist composers Okay. Let's quickly skim over this important movement that resulted in much of the film music we hear today. Minimalism emerged in the late 1960s and can be associated with a group of American composers classified as minimalists. Composers such as Philip Glass, Terry Riley, John Adams and Steve Reich are credited for the development of minimalist music. These composers favored simple, hypnotic and repetitive rhythms over complex technical and intellectual styles such as serialism and chance music. developed by John Cage Minimalist music is characterized by a a very strong sense of pulse which gives the music its energy and drive b a repeated melodic unit or a set of chords that resolve or in other words provide catharsis towards the end c static harmonies that are deliberately simplistic d focus on dynamics which involves experimenting with loudness and softness and e an unusual set of instruments that result in different timbres and textures and make the repeating set interesting preventing it from monotony keeping in mind the aforementioned points listen to this excerpt from the film Koyan Eskadzi again composed by Philip Glass now the theme from interstellar This is a very simple, you know, just the simplicity of the material lets you then go and expand outwards. Zimmer's theme in both Inception and Interstellar are driven by eventful repetitions. While new textures and timbres are created on every repeat with the addition and subtraction of instruments, the underlying tonal organization however remains intact. As you would have figured out, most of Zimmer's music is rooted in minimalist traits. His music is marked by a certain grandiosity however and that's the so-called USP of his music the way in which he presents his ideas Hans Zimmer's long-time collaborator and filmmaker Christopher Nolan has described his style perfectly Hans is a minimalist composer with a sort of maximalist production sense so he'll write these incredibly specific and simple pieces but the way in which he'll then record and produce them is on such a colossal scale with so much movement and drive It's easy to go big. It's easy to throw the kitchen sink in. It's easy to it's easy to go and get a big church organ and make a hell of a racket. Maximalist production sense is intrinsic and actually key to Zimmer style. There's maximum textural play and volume combined with maximum emotive power in his works. By volume I mean magnitude and not loudness by the way. Moreover, his innovative choice of instruments gives an edge. Be it the booming pipe organ for Interstellar or a single stage note on a solo cello for the Joker's theme in The Dark Knight or in general his extensive use of synthesizers either stand alone for a film like Dunkirk or to double the orchestral parts without making it evident as is the case with both the themes we listen to
It is true that Zimmer does not employ other minimalist techniques such as phasing, counterpoint, melodic and rhythmic transformation among others that are far more intricate. Maybe he is not adept at that. Or perhaps Zimmer deliberately works out simple memorable themes opting to keep it straightforward, simultaneously highlighting the emotional peaks in some of the most complex storylines. I'm not doing concert music. I am trying to be telling the parallel story that the filmmakers are taking. That's exactly what Glass did decades ago with the avant-garde film Koyanis Kalji. By keeping it simple. We're done.